I am. I'm getting ready to go into Bargain Square. It's a thrift store in my area. We'll see if we can find any good things to flip before we head to the store. So, as you guys know, any of you guys that follow me, I have a really hard time speaking loudly, even when I'm by myself in a store. Oh my god, I need to get a microphone and figure this out. So, I'm going to do some voiceover as we go because, as you can imagine, you couldn't hear a word I said. I don't often find too much furniture here, but every now and then something surprises us. So let's take a look at what we're seeing. This one, kind of cool, a little bit mid-century. Not sure about those poles. I'm not digging those at all. But as I pull out the drawers and check it out, it is pretty decently made. That is all wood, so I like that about it. But those poles, I don't know. Um, I did end up passing this one up. Maybe I should have got it, but then I looked at that tag, $100. Yep, that's a little bit too steep for me. So we're just going to cruise through the store, take a look at these chairs. Holy moly, with a glass table. They're yellow, and yeah, we're going to pass on that. Um, this guy, all right, the price is right. It's kind of plain, but... I do have one of those poles that I can add to it. It's mid-century. It's pretty good, dovetailed. I don't know. We could put a transfer. We could do a lot of stuff to make that one a little bit better. So we're going to come back to it here in just a few seconds. I love vintage baskets. This one's kind of beat up. And, you know, you can only have so many baskets. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. My husband would kill me. I'm going to check out this desk here for a second. feel like I could probably do something to, with it, but ah, it's not very well made. Got a laminate top. Price is right, but yeah, no, let's just keep going. Don't need a crib. <laughs> Definitely passing on that. All right, taking a look around. They've kind of got everything just shoved everywhere. That desk is pretty decent, but it's kind of big. As we inspect it a little bit more, not that well made. It's uh, got those drawers stapled on there. Don't like that. So we're gonna go and skip on that one. And here we go, back to this guy. Let's go ahead and say yes. We're gonna grab that tag so nobody else gets it and head up to the glassware to see what we've got. I did spy this drop leaf table. We have had a few of them in the past. I actually have one in the store right now. This is one of the really big ones. Lifted up that leaf and sure enough, it does work just fine, but we're gonna pass. All right, over here to the glassware. Oh, what is that? Mr. Fire King. And over a little bit further, we found the little plates and another cup that go with it. So we're going to go ahead and grab the full set of the Fire King. Fire King is one of those things that's very collectible. This doesn't happen all the time. It was an estate sale. We just had to turn it to on a Wednesday. Yay. Let's go check it. I'm always not really thrilled about estate sales. They tend to want way too much for stuff, but every now and then, you get really lucky so let's see they want $29 for that one. No. so I walk straight in and directly to my right is all the glassware so I'm checking out this set right here it really looks like it's probably something to me but I don't know what so I just keep looking at all these mugs in this picture and going should I should I should I they want $29 for the picture and five cups feel like I should probably do it, but I just don't know. So I ended up getting a picture of the bottom of it. Still can't find anything on that. If anybody knows anything about that, please do share. In the little pantry, I found this little finger lamp, closer inspection. It's made in China. Ah, uh, no. I'm still looking around. Over here, I find this genie lamp. I really like that. Price on it was $90, so no. In one of the bedrooms, I find this furniture. I can definitely flip that, but they wanted $1.99 for that dresser, $2.99 for that desk. So here we are looking at these lamps. These are pretty cool. Again, 50 bucks each. Yep, not doing it. 
All right, so that definitely wasn't very productive, but we did find a couple things that I'm going to go ahead and check them out online. And then maybe we'll go back for them, see if they're still there on Sunday. All right, we're going to go into this. It's an estate liquidators and see if we can find something. It's very cool. It's a church group um, and it's a nonprofit. So let's go look. So this is the stuff that they don't find very valuable. They have it all outside. Um, probably gets rained on, all that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and look through these bins, see if we can find anything at all that we think might be kind of cool. It all seems to be uh, not too cool. Um, I did spy these baskets. Can we get to them, Melanie? Come on. Um, yep, 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 there they are. All right, so those are pretty cool. Those are older, and they do look very cool for staging furniture. Look good on the wall above it. My friend Sheila uses them all the time. I ended up passing on them only because I forgot um, to take them in. I probably could have got them for super cheap. This little guy is super cute. If all those flowers had been intact, I definitely would have got it, but they was all chip chipped up. So yeah, nope, passed on that one. Let's go in. All right, so we're in the inside of the warehouse and we're gonna take a look around and see what we can see. This hutch is pretty cool, but I'm afraid they're gonna ask way too much for that. So I'm not even gonna, not even gonna ask them about that. And let's just look back here. Some other really cool hutches. Again, I'm afraid of the price, but oh, what do we have? This is a different mid-century piece different than what I've seen. Those pools are definitely something I haven't seen before. So that gets my curiosity going. Has glass on top, definitely not necessary, but that means it's been well protected, which is good. See how interesting those pools are. Drawers work really well. And if we look at the sides, it is made nicely. So let's go ahead and go to the back of the piece and see if it's marked. Let's see what the maker is. And yep, no maker. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Sometimes it's marked inside the drawers on the top, usually on the upper left, sometimes on the upper right. This one did not have a mark and this French provincial bed is blocking it so I can't see it. So anyways, we're gonna look here at this bed, French Provincial, sells very well. For today, we ended up picking up a very cool little mid-century chair. I will show you guys that, but we've got to get to the store, get Hamish his lunch. Poor guy is probably starving, so I will see you guys soon. Okay, so look at this sweet little mid-century chair. I did pick that up at the place also. Here is the little desk I got. And dropped all that stuff off and now I'm at Savers so checking it out Savers again pretty high price don't find a lot of stuff here but every now and then we do so we just got to keep looking our area is not like some others where you just find stuff all the time not like that okay so we're looking through the furniture not finding anything at all at all all right so let's just skip on down the road here oh wait bed frame's kind of cool i like those carvings and yeah no 25 bucks doesn't have the side rails and doesn't have the top so let's skip all right here we are let's check out this little guy um yep no let's put him back so again i am learning what is good and what is not need you guys to help me for sure i would appreciate any feedback because a lot of you know a lot more than me so a lot of these guys, I'm just flipping them over, looking for a mark that I can recognize. And, oh wait, I like frogs. And I like turtles. So, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I want that for me. I might, but it doesn't have a tag on it. And you know how the thrift stores are. It doesn't have a tag. You have to wait for somebody to come up and give you a price, and it's just a pain in the butt and not quite worth it. For that, I think I can get that at the dollar store. So let's go ahead and skip on that. And moving right along, what else do we see? Um, no dolls. If they're not in composition, I don't want them. That looks to be kind of hand blown, but not really certain. And we're gonna go over here. Let's check it out. More dolls, porcelain dolls everywhere. 
value on those is very, very low. Don't even mess with them. Well, I don't mess with them. This guy, it looks really cool. Oh my goodness, it's super duper heavy. Turn it over and yeah, it's got a tag on it. So that means it's super modern and we're gonna go ahead and skip on that. What do we see? What do we see? Um, black and white, there it is. That one looks kind of cool. No mark again, not knowledgeable enough to know if that is anything. So we're gonna skip on it. I feel like I probably skip on a lot of stuff that I shouldn't, um, but you know, if you don't know, you don't know. I am new to this game and hopefully I'm going to learn more, teach you guys more, and we're just going to do this, right? I'm on a small little mission to redo all my plates and cups. So I have a set now and I don't like my set anymore. I had Pyrex forever. Ah, that's a lie. I had Cordell forever. Um, Anyways, I got rid of that. Now I just have this set that I don't like. So I've been collecting coffee cups. That, that wasn't a whole lot of fun. We walked out of there with two coffee cups and the cutest little purse in the world. So we are off to the pet store, thrift store, and see if we can find something there. This is another nonprofit place that donates a lot of their money, hopefully, <laughs> to um, the animal shelters. So I do appreciate that. I like to spend my money here if I can find something that's worth it. This armoire looks kind of cool, but on closer inspection, turns out it's for a TV. I don't feel like building shelves in there. So we're gonna skip it. Big old globe. Ah. Oh, wait, we've got two vintage nightstands and yep. Nope, they want too much for them. We're gonna go ahead and skip on those too. Let's head over to the glassware and see if we can find anything cool. I do like unique salt and pepper shakers. They do sell well in my store, so I'm always looking for something kind of cool, very unique uh, to pick up in that aspect. This little guy up here caught my eye. Go ahead and flip that guy over. And yeah, it's not marked, which means that Melanie doesn't know so when Melanie doesn't know, I'm just not going to do it. Because if you don't even know, you can't even Google it. And I'm just skipping. Unless I feel totally, totally. Oh, look, bears. Those are kind of cool. Don't like that they don't have the stoppers on the bottom. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll come back to them. We'll see. So we have some unique bear Piggy banks missing the stopper on the bottom. What is that? What is that like gunk down there? I don't know. Oh, we got another one missing the top of his head. Poor little fellow. Don't know what those are. Glass slipper. I feel like that should be something. I did move the sticker and decided a no on that. I was on my way out the door and then I found these guys. So I was like, okay, they are something. I checked them out. The flowers seem to all be intact. And I decided to go outside and Google them just to make sure because I felt like five bucks was a little bit steep. I went out and I looked up the little slippers and they're going from anywhere from like 15 to 26. That's what people have them listed at. I went back in and looked. One of them did have a little crack on it. Um, one of the little flowers was chipped off. So I just decided I'm not going to do that. Let's spend that money on something else. We are headed into the restore the Habitat for Humanity. Very expensive in my area, but you know. Generally start over here in the tables. Um, I oftentimes go back to the doors, but I didn't do that today. This table, maybe. Not really sure. I like the chair bottoms. You know, those don't hold up very well. Um, and it's not marked, so let's skip on that. We're gonna head over to the dressers and see if we can find anything over there. Again, my Habitat for Humanity is marked really high, so it's hard to find stuff. Now, these vintage pieces, I have sold quite a few of those. They want 80 bucks for that, and yeah, no, I gotta get all new pools for it, no. I like this desk too, again, 70, no. We're gonna go ahead and skip on that too. Prices are just too high. A lot of times I'll find something that I think and it's like uh, 140, 180 and I'm like, no, I can't do that. I am, I, I can't. Anyways, 
Okay, so as we're walking down the aisles, now these mid-century pieces, um, I have sold a few of those. Looking at this guy and the price is right on it. Let's check out the drawers. They seem so far to be good. Always important to check out the drawers. If the drawers don't slide nicely, then you need to open it up and make sure that it's something that you can fix. If you can't fix it, don't get it. This one's a little wonky. Um, as we look at the side when dovetailed sides and it's just separated so we can glue clamp and staple that back together so that's definitely something that we can fix so we're gonna check that one out oh you like my little purse all right uh there's a desk next to it also that i think we can do something with i'm gonna go ahead and stop send a message to hamish and see what he thinks so we spent our entire day thrifting. We ended up with some pretty cool stuff. We have two desks, a chair, and two dressers. All right, we're gonna go pick those up tomorrow. I didn't pick them up. I did get the bed and, oh, and the mid-century chair. You saw that on one of the desks. Okay, so I did get some of it. Anyways, um, got some Fire King, got a, two coffee mugs for myself. As you know, I'm a furniture flipper. I'm a furniture artist don't generally do the other stuff i'm learning in that category i appreciate all your help don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video